सो हेलो ऑल बिफोर आई बिगिन लेट मी कीप यू इन सिचुएशन लेट्स थिंक अ वर्ल्ड थिंक एन एर वेयर देर इज नो एक्सेस ऑफ इंटरनेट और देर इज अस कनेक्टिविटी टू द इंटरनेट नाउ आई आस्क यू टू सर्च फॉर समथिंग सर्च फॉर योर फेवरेट मूवी स्टार सर्च फॉर योर फेवरेट फिल्म सर्च फॉर योर फेवरेट फूड प्लीज सर्च एंड हेयर इज अ फन फैक्ट दैट नो फोन्स अलाउड प्लीज डोंट यूज फोन देर आई क्लियरली सी अ क्वेश्चन मार्क ऑन एवरी वन फेस एंड माइंड टू सो कम बैक कम बैक इन दर ऑफ इंटरनेट आई आयुष कुमार सिंह अ पी डी एम स्टूडेंट अ यूट्यूबर एंड आंध पेन्योर standing in front of you with a visor and a statement that world is at our fingertips we have the power to create our own destiny so just a moment back i put all of us in a situation where there is no connectivity to the internet let's talk more about it so what was the sources of information then let's say print medias books libraries and one of the more a most important thing that quite trusted nowadays as well that is word of mouth accessing any kind of information requires lot of time effort and patience and have you ever wonder how the information was realistic or authentic in the no internet era we usually spend our times to play outdoor games and one more exciting fact that we see the articles in the newspaper about our favorite movie star our favorite film star and we used to cut those articles and save those articles we live in the era where all the information is at our fingertip where technology is like uh, oxygen to survive in this century so here i am telling my st story that started 2 years ago i was a, i was an ordinary boy playing online games scrolling social media then a random thought stuck in my mind what if i upload these videos my game plays on youtube at that time i didn't have a, my any fancy equipments but i still started to upload videos but i didn't get any views just one or two but gaming is my hobby all the efforts that i put in my gaming uh, i explored different type of games i played tpp mode fpp mode my multiplayer open world but i found my true love in tpp mode that is third person perspective but i knew that uh, to grab audience to grab audio retention rate to uh, gain likes and subscribers i need to work on my videos because my video editing skills were very basics and my algorithm is no, also not good i learned video editing and photoshop through the youtube after that not many audience are connecting to me still i am kept going because youtube and esports is my hobby after few, uh, few days on my 173rd video i got 100 views i receive a notification mail from a youtube that congratulations i was first time you receive uh, 100 views on one of your videos i told my dad hey dad i achieved this milestone my dad didn't understand the whole youtube world they simply ignore it and tell me that focus on your career other than to focus on these stupid things but i stick to my goals i stick to my youtube channel i learn uh, all the technical terms of youtube i learn all the familiar things that which help me to improve my video editing skills then the something that didn't go well from 173rd videos to 250 videos the views count is less than 100 i feel distress that why is this happening i took lot of effort to make videos 2 to 4 hour to make videos and still this effort is not paid off but i uh, kept going until i reached 270 videos and when i reached 270 videos and the, and then the views count is still the same i got depressed that i think youtube is not my path or it's not my journey so i stopped uploading videos i stopped playing games but something in my back of my mind telling me that Ayush you have to return in the battleground those 270 videos the year of hard work needs to be paid off so after a break of a month i returned i returned and i decided to learn more about youtube algorithm youtube analytics and how youtube works then i found out that i am not the only one who making videos on my same niche there are many big youtubers many big shots that are uploading the same content with the finest resources and finest equipments then i decided to think about what are the possible ways that i use to my, in my videos to improve my audio audio retention rate to gather more subscribers to gain much views i come to the conclusion that i upload a video before the other youtubers upload but it's not easy because uh, i played a global game and its update came in the came in the game at 5:30 pm ist uh, pacific time that is 5:30 morning in india and i am not a morning person for the growth of my channel i have to do it so i played 
edit it and upload the video right after the update came. And I gradually seeing some fluctuation in my YouTube algorithm. I see is that I am I started to getting views. I love to enjoy this journey. And the day come, the memorable day come at 21st October 2017. My channel got monetized. The YouTube India sent me a mail that your congratulations, Ayush Kumar Singh. Your channel channel has been monetized. You are ready to monetize your videos. You are now official content creator at YouTube. I was in my ninth cloud. And from that day, I keep from I keep up a promise to me that I always try to uh, honest to my audience and never uh, give them a, a fake content about anything. And there is one thing that helped me in this journey is consistency. Two year down the line, uh, two seventy days, and the total number of video I uploaded on my channel. Any guesses? I think it's nine hundred plus. This is the power of consistency. This is the power of resilience. This is the power towards the success of the, any channel or any growth. Uh, all these factors help me to increase or boost my audience retention rate. And it's not about YouTube. It's about internet. Those audience who, who, who are sitting here is not the only audience for these amazing speakers. You don't know who is listening to you, who is watching you and get feel motivated. My all audience is overseas. My merchandise business is overseas. ये local का global बन गया पता ही नहीं चला. And now I have a channel that have 34,000 subscribers, more than 7.8 million plus views, and 1 million plus watch hour. And it also leads to creation of my own merchandise business that active sales coming from Philippines. But the journey didn't stop here. Now I have a dedicated YouTube team to focus more on my YouTube channel and the overseas business. This is my story. The YouTube and the internet made me a self-independent person. It's all about keep 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 growing, keep building, and keep uh, moving ahead. This is my story to keep forwarding. So what did I learn from my stories? First one is always chase your dream. Doesn't matter how it seems to be impossible. Keep connecting, keep building, and keep going. And the one thing that helped me throughout my journey is believe in yourself. Second, be consistent. No matter what. Because success is not just a one-time journey, one-night event. It takes hard work, patience, and lots of effort. So don't feel disheartened. And third, be mindful of the impact of social media on your life. Think, uh, take it as a positive way and use it as as your advantages. Don't let it consume you. And last, we uh, just remember that we all live in the same path, same journey. Help each other to grow and achieve our dreams. Thank you. Thank you for the part of my story.